2016 end of year activities at the Island Club had an intellectually stimulating session with elders of the club, where a renowned ophthalmologist, Dr. Mrs. Samotosho, spoke on the eye, which is very important to the life and living of elders. This was part of the Elders Day event that took place at the Island Club. A lot of people tell me, ah, no, I prefer to be deaf, but to see, because if things are going around you and people are making noise or they're running, if you don't know the side to which they're running to, you can be running to the danger. But even if you do not hear and you see people running, the tendency is there for you to run after them to follow the crowd. We have different types of refractive errors. You have myopia, which is short-sightedness. We have hyperopia, which is long-sightedness. And when we are getting older, we have what people will refer to as presbyopia. And that is when whatever we are reading, our hands are not long enough to keep it. You have to keep pushing the book, whatever you are reading forward, to be able to see. And that's why most of us, once we are about 35 to 40, we do need reading glasses. The question and answer session featured the elders taking up the guest lecturer, Dr. Mrs. Amotosha, on a number of issues that needed more clarification about the eye, which was the subject of focus. The Island Club's Christmas Carol session attracted many choir groups to the Island Club premises. In attendance were clergymen, Island Club Chairman, Mr. Dikbo Okbeshi, SAN, the Vice Chairman, Prince Lano Adeshida, trustees of the club, past chairmen and friends of the club. The main menu were spirit-filled Christmas carols in keeping with the spirit of the season. The choir groups and soloists took turns to render the songs. In the sermon, the officiating minister admonished everyone to interpret to the letter the essence of the Christmas season, which is to give and love. The particular country spent about $10 million to celebrate this particular Christmas that we are in. And I pray for as many as are here, the only news you will hear next year will be good news. Yeah. If you believe it, say a better amen. Yeah. Christmas is a season of joy. Everywhere, joy in the air. Everybody is happy. I remember many years ago, a child came to me and said, Sir, can't we have Christmas three times a year? <laughs> and I said, Why? He said, Everybody is happy. Plenty rice. Plenty chicken. May your joy never be stolen in Jesus' name. Amen. Christmas is a season of of better tomorrow. Last year you said I will be here for 2016. You are here. Tell somebody who will be here next year. <laughs> Christmas is a season of hope. Hope of better tomorrow. Your tomorrow will be better and greater than today in the name of Jesus. The 2016 Christmas Eve dance of the Island Club took place in a totally revamped, refurbished environment to give the premises of the Island Club a 21st century compliant ambience that will fit in perfectly to the mega city status of Lagos, the center of excellence, to quote the chairman of the Island Club. 
Mr. Dipo Okbeshe, SAN. By the time the entire reconstruction and rebranding of the Island Club is finished, Island Club will undoubtedly be in the forefront in terms of the club with the most alluring and fascinating looks. With members of Island Club, their spouses, friends and well-wishers from different parts of the globe in attendance and other heavyweight attendees like the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Akinwumi Ambode, who is the patron of the club, the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty Oba Adeye Yogunse, who was the Royal Father of the Day, Sir Kessington Adebutu, who is the major supporter of the club as the Father of the Day, and Senate's President Dr. Bukola Saraki, who was represented by Senator Larry Tejosho, the Chairman of the Island Club, Mr. Dikbo Okpeshe, SAN, the Vice Chairman, Prince Lano Adeshida, trustees and past chairman of the club could not have asked for a better and more dignified setting for this year's Christmas Eve dance. To cap it up was King Sunny Day, who was on the bandstand. The magnificent Peacock Hall, which wore a colorful ambience, was filled beyond capacity by the gaily dressed happy looking faces who were just waiting in the wings to have a very memorable time. Setting the tone for the commencement of the event was the social secretary of the Island Club, Otumba Stephen Kayode Ogundikwe, KCOP, who did a marvelous job on the rather complex issue of the introduction of the dignitaries at the star studded event. The chairman of Island Club, Mr. Dikbo Okbeshe, welcomed all to the 2016 Island Club Christmas Eve dance with an address he titled Share the Joy of Christmas and Give Hope to the New Year. He began by thanking the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Akinwu Miambode, for his unwavering commitment to his role as the patron of Island Club. Mr. Dikbo Okbeshi thanked the Father of the Day, Sir Kessington Adebutu, for his monetary assistance to the Island Club which has been deployed to the total reconstruction and revamping work currently going on in the club premises. Island Club Chairman Mr. Digbo Okbeshi also commended Lagos State Governor Mr. Akimumi Ambode for his steadfast belief in bequeathing a new Lagos to Lagosians, which generations in Bonn will be very proud of. We have uh, pledged to bequeath a club that will be 21st century compliance to members and fit into the mega city status of Lagos during our campaign. We had our hope in God for the facilities, the knowledge, the source of funds, and believed in God to achieve and manage it. It was Christmas last year, 2015, that God brought a distinguished member of the club, elder statesman, as should do about Lagos, the Bob Asulu of Undo Kingdom, among so many other titles, Sir Dr. Chief Kassintin Adebu Konda Adebutu, CON GCOP, as our special guest of honor. Indeed, he accompanied our patron from Yoruba Tennis Club, our sister club, to come here and pledged to support. Body of past chairmen, my predecessors in office, have all been wonderful. The Ashojuoba of Lagos, our leaders, and finally, His Imperial Majesty the Honor of Ife, Oba Alayelua Adeyeye Eniton Ogungusi Ojaja II, as Vice Patron of our club, and Your Excellency, our Patron and Governor, I thank you all for being here today. Special highlight of the night included the induction of the Oni of Ife as a full member of Island Club and his investiture as a new vice patron of the club. It is my honor and privilege to confer full membership of the Island Club, his own right, 
on no other personality than His Imperial Majesty, the All Neo Fifa. Chairman of the board of the body of past chairman, former president of ICANN, and former chairman of the body of past presidents of ICANN, Chief Musiliu Obaya and Nibaba. Full membership of the Island Club was conferred on Senator Larry Tejosho, Senator Olamile Kwadeola Yayi, Senator Bang Beton, Otumba Ogunusi, the brother of the Oni of Ife. So it's my pleasure and privilege to confer full membership of the Island Club of Senator Dr. Larry Tejosho. Congratulations. You are welcome to the Island Club. The Honorary Secretary will give you a letter today and over and above what is there, I know we'll get the needful from you in your personal capacity. Congratulations and you are welcome to the Island Club. I have the privilege to confer full membership also subject to doing the needful on Soko. Let me have the honor to shake your hand and the secretary will send you a letter and I trust a very, very distinguished gentleman. Congratulations. You are welcome to your club. I confer on you the full membership of the Island Club and the Honorary General Secretary will issue you a letter subject to all necessaries and doing the needful. On the right of His Imperial Majesty, you are welcome to the Island Club. The trustees and first chairman, the entire membership of the Island Club, I exercise this power to confirm you full membership of this club and uh, subject to doing the needful. Before you leave now, I'm sure the secretary will reach you with a letter. I want to welcome you to the Island Club and congratulate you. Thank you. In the address of the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, delivered by his representative, Senator Larry Tejuosho, he thanked the Island Club for the honor done the 8th Senate. He promised that the Senate will liaise with the Island Club on the way to have a mutually beneficial relationship between the Senate and the Club. Speaking on his induction as a member of the Island Club, Senator Larry Tejuosho who is the chairman of the Senate Committee on Health, called on the Island Club to put in place the Abuja chapter of the club for the benefit of members of the National Assembly and other people based in the federal capital city. His Excellency, the Senate President, Dr. Abubakar Bukola Saraki, called me this afternoon to represent him at this very important occasion. When discussing with him on what I should discuss or deliver today, he mentioned to me that we should continue the message on how we will ensure that made in Nigeria goods, made in Nigeria products, are patronized by Nigerians. The Eighth Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has made it a focus for 2017 that Nigerian products should be emphasized in the budget spending of 2017. I do not want to go further on the speech 
but just to thank the Island Club for honoring all of us today, our new members, and also for inviting His Excellency Senator Obaka Nikola Saraki to be the guest of honor of today. So I thank you all for listening. Thank you very much. In his goodwill message, Governor Kimu Miambode, who is a special guest of honor and patron of the club, congratulated every member of the Island Club for being able to hold the 2016 edition of the Christmas Eve dance. He used the occasion to properly brief the audience and, by extension, Lagosians about all the steps taken to carry everyone along in the governance of Lagos State. Governor Ambode stated that Lagos State is the fifth largest economy in Africa with over 24 million people. Apart from the responsibility of being a patron of the club, being at this event presents me an opportunity to express my profound appreciation to all of you for the massive support you have given our administration in the outgoing year. In my last address to you, I emphasized the need for us to work together in order to achieve the Lagos of our dreams. Our vision has remained the same, to deliver a Lagos that is safe, clean and prosperous. A Lagos that works for all of us, no matter your race, religion or gender. With the year 2017 Golden Jubilee budget, we believe strongly we have positioned the state to record milestone development in the coming year. Apart from the fact that 2017 is the Golden Jubilee year, we believe we will witness the commencement and completion of critical infrastructure that will create new economies in the state, facilitate growth, and propel the state economy to enviable heights. Our targets for next year and the future will be achieved, and together we will enjoy a Lagos that is safe, clean, and prosperous. A Lagos that works for all of us. I thank you for your kind attention. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a very successful 2017. God bless you all. The program ended with a special dance of the patron, special guest of honor, the father of the day, royal father, trustees, past chairman, and their spouses, with King Sonia Day in total control. King Sonia Day held sway till the very end of the Island Club Christmas Eve dance as members took turns to dance to his music. <laughs> See you all next year at the 2017 edition of the Island Club Christmas Eve Dance. God willing.